Commissioners, step forward. Sir Grinno, for the benefit of all here present, I would ask you to repeat the charges which you have leveled against this man and this woman. I, Sir Grinno de Zemile, brother of the Heaven's Ward, did bear witness to these two foreigners consorting with heretics. <coughs> Let the accused step forward. Alfino Levea, Tataru Taru, you have heard the charges leveled against you. Will you take up arms to refute Sir Grino's claim and thereby prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men? I, Alfino Levier, am innocent of this charge and claim my right to trial by combat. I, Tataru Taru, am innocent of this charge. But I am no warrior and cannot fight. So I claim the right to name a champion. To the old and the infirm, the young and the weak, this right we allow. Very well. Just as I was beginning to doubt the efficacy of the Ishgardian justice system, your judgment. Raise up the righteous and cast down the wicked. you know.
Your Eminence, it is my honor to present to you the Warrior of Light. I have heard the tales of your many grand endeavors. The Lord Commander has... I am Thorin VII, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church, and I bade you come here that I might offer... You will forgive me for not calling upon you as courtesy would dictate, but as you can see, my more sprightly days are long behind me. Your companions were wrongly accused of heresy and subjected to gross indignities. This, I am sorry to say, is the result of negligence on the part of our nation's protectors. Neg- Yes, Your Eminence. Regrettably, it would appear that we of the Heaven's Ward were in receipt of erroneous information. Sir Grino has ever been headstrong. He pressed charges before the truth had been ascertained, for which I most sincerely apologize. An unfortunate misunderstanding born of an earnest desire to serve Ishgard, but one which should never have occurred. For who could doubt the character of those who bested Shiva and drove the Horde from the steps of faith? Not I, that much is said. That will be all, Sir Zephyrin. I would speak with our guest in private. Your Eminence? As you wish, Your Eminence. That will be all for today. Privacy is a luxury rarely afforded one in my position. Now tell me, young lady, what do you know of the Asians? <coughs> Much and more, I shouldn't wonder, being the bringer of light. You should know that I myself have met with them have entertained them as guests. <laughs> Those harbingers of chaos and strife offered us power that we might continue our war against the dragons. I have no intention of aiding their cause, of course nor less of being their puppet. 
Yet, were I to refuse them outright, I should learn naught of their true objectives and remain powerless to stop them. Thus have I hearkened to their words with interest and paid lip service to their beliefs, biding my time and preparing for the inevitable conflict. And why do I tell you this? Because there is naught in this world they fear more than the power of the warrior of light. If we are to rid ourselves of these vile interlopers, we must needs work together. With our combined strength, I have faith that we can wrest Eorzea from their grasp and pave the way for a lasting peace. Think on it. Confess, I was more than a little concerned when I learned that you had been summoned to the vault. What did they want with you? Well, well. A formal apology and an admonishment of those... By the gods! The Archbishop freely admits to consorting with Assians. So, their ambitions extend to Ishgard as well. We will have new primals to contend with ere long, of that you may be certain. Tis but a matter of time. Yet shorn of the support of our missing allies, what can we realistically hope to achieve? assassins to account. Lord Orshifon was wise to counsel restraint, but this business will brook no delay. We cannot permit this execution to take place. We must save Raoban. 